Hi there, my name is Tanya Milan from the Self Sufficient Homestead and we are starting our segment on dehydrating within the food preservation series. Now, dehydrating must be one of the oldest forms of food preservation in our society or on the planet. If you think of hunter-gatherers centuries ago, what did they do with the whole buffalo once they've harvested it? So even today, these principles apply. We do have produce or food and we want to store it safely in a pantry um, or in your rucksack when you go hiking. So we need to understand all the principles of dehydrating and how we do it. So this segment of the series will cover everything from the nutritional benefits of dehydrated food to the equipment that we need, the methods of dehydrating, preparation of our food, uh, lengths and temperatures, we're looking at conditioning once it has been dried, storage, how can we store it safely, and what your shelf life would look like for your foods that you dehydrate. We will also be covering dehydrating challenges, frequently asked questions, problems that people run into, and we will give guidelines on how to prevent such challenges and problems. So guys, our next video will be about the nutritional benefits of dried foods. So if you want to see the whole series, please remember to subscribe. And in the comments, you can tell me if you've got extra questions that I didn't say anything about now. And I will make sure to put them in into the series somewhere. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.